Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Disney Dorables Series 2. New Disney Dorables are here! It looks like for Series 2, they have green doors and new characters to collect. 84 across Series 2 for ages 5 and up. We found these at Target with prices ranging from $10.99 to $3.99. This is the Multi Peak. It has five, six, or seven figures inside. On the back of the box, it says, Discover the ultimate unboxing experience. Open the door to reveal how many doors you have. You will find five, six, or seven doors. What awaits you behind each door? Your favorite Disney adorable character with sparkly glitter eyes. So tiny and cute, you can't help but to collect them all. Will you find a limited edition? There are limited edition metallic figures? And at the bottom, it says there is a fuzzy figure in every pack. I don't have any fuzzy dorables, so this is going to be awesome. There are a lot of different characters from common, rare, ultra rare, limited edition, and special edition. Let's open this up for a closer look. There are five doors inside. Let's start with this one. Who's in there? Only one way to find out. It's Chip. Our next door is… How awesome would it be if this was Dale? Who is this? Is it Pascal? I think I see a collector's guide hidden in the back. So now we can identify our adorable. That one's red, but it is definitely not Sebastian. There is another red one, and yes, it is Pascal Red. He's a chameleon, so he can change his color. There are so many different Disney characters. Wreck-It Ralph, The Lion King, Frozen, Limited Editions, Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Alice in Wonderland, Toy Story, Mickey and Friends, Tangled, Moana, Beauty and the Beast, Zootopia, and Peter Pan. Let's open the rest of our doors to see all of our Disney adorables. I think this is a pretty good starter collection for Season 2. Here is our fuzzy adorable from The Lion King. Here is Moana. And this one is from Wreck-It Ralph. Candlehead. One stand was included. It would be nice if everyone got a stand, but I guess we'll just have to pick and choose. Who will fall over the easiest? Here is Ariel Secret Cove. It has an exclusive Ariel figure and a surprise figure inside. On the back, it says, Dive deep under the sea to discover secret treasures behind the door of Ariel's Secret Cove. At the bottom, there are pictures of all of the different play sets. There are 11 to collect across Series 2. Some of these look kind of familiar. Yes, some of the play sets are returning from last season. So if you're still looking for them, they will be available this series. Ariel's Secret Cove comes with a play set that looks like water. You can see a statue of Prince Eric on the side. There is a large, glittery seashell door that opens by laying down. There is a coral reef attachment, a tiny treasure chest that opens, a fork, Ariel in her mermaid form, a collector's guide, and of course, our surprise door. I wonder who it will be? Flounder? Sebastian? Scuttle? It would be awesome if this was another Disney adorable from The Little Mermaid. Please be Ursula. Please be Ursula! It is I, Prince Ali! Nice treasure you got there. Let me guess, you shop at the Cave of Wonders? Prince Ali is not from The Little Mermaid, but he is a new addition to our collection. We also got a clamshell with a pearl inside and another stand. And I am very happy we got Prince Ali because we found Jasmine's Royal City. Discover a shimmering new world behind the door of Jasmine's Royal City. Out of the box, there is a palace room with glittery double doors that can open. There is an attachment for the top. 
There is an exclusive Princess Jasmine Dorable. She comes with a lounge and a flying carpet that can be used as a stand. And of course, the mystery figure. Inside, we have a stand, and I think that's the magic lamp. It is! It's a teeny tiny lamp! And the mystery figure is... A double? Ugh. Yep, we have two Moanas. I am going to use my magic lamp and wish for no more doubles. Because we're opening surprise boxes next. I really want more of the Aladdin and Little Mermaid collection. I'm a little nervous. I mean, I love you, Moana, but I don't need a third one. And we have... Oh, that looks like Rapunzel. It's the ultra-rare young Rapunzel and Mr. Smee from Peter Pan. The ultra-rare Rapunzel is covered in glitter. I wonder if we will find any more ultra-rares. And this is... No. Another Moana? <laughs> Seriously? And we have Hans from Frozen. Look! This one has another one in the back. It's a surprise within a surprise. Yay! It's Max! He is rare and from The Little Mermaid. That totally makes up for the third Moana. We have three surprise boxes to go. And this is Mrs. Potts and Lost Boy Slightly. Just two more. And all we've been able to add to our Princess Jasmine and Aladdin collection so far is Max. Please be the genie. And it's not the genie. It's Judy Hopps and Rapunzel with Frying Pan. We are down to our last surprise box. Come on, be the genie. Or Raja. I would be very happy with Raja too. It's Aladdin and March Hare. Aww, our Aladdin has some factory defects right under his eyes. Good thing we have Prince Ali. You know it. I guess we're gonna have to keep looking to complete our collection. But until then, maybe we can recycle these boxes. Craft time! Here is a super simple project. Carefully remove the front door, take scrapbook paper, turn it over to the wrong side, trace around the sides and back of the box, clean up the lines, cut it out, and remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. Trace it onto paperboard to make a pattern, cut it out so we can make more. Take the scrapbook paper and fold over the sides so it can fit inside of the box. Make adjustments and cut where needed so it can fit inside. Remove it from the box. I cut a piece of scrapbook paper that is two inches by two and a quarter. Trim off the bottom tab. Glue in the scrapbook paper. Wrap the excess over the edge. Glue in the wallpaper. I started by gluing down the back first. Then apply glue to the back of the sides to glue them in place. Add a strip of white paper for baseboards. If you find the baseboards tricky, glue them onto the wallpaper before gluing it into the room. I really wanted to keep this on the front, but I think it makes the room too dark. So I carefully trim it off, cut off the top, glue it to the front to make a tiny room to display our door bowl. Then we can cut toothpicks, glue two together at an angle, glue another one behind it to make a tripod, glue the last piece across the bottom, cut a rectangle from the leftover packaging to be a painting on an easel. So it looks like Rapunzel has been busy creating works of art. Make more, decorate with crafts from our My Mini Mixie Q world to make your own Disney Durable display. And we get to recycle. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Series 2 Disney Durables. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.